So we started off emphasizing Taino Henko and Marotta Dorikoku Ho. We know the founder said every practice Taino Henko, Marotta Dorikoku Ho. And he ends in Suwari Waza Kokyo. So this is also what we end the practice with. Very, very important. Very, very important. One of the brilliant things I heard Saito Sensei say, arms that function like pistons are not doing Kokyo. And that's one of the big things you learn from the Kokyo exercise. Not to use your arms like a piston. Now there, we're not finishing early or anything. Five minutes, we're going to spend half an hour or so on Kokyo concept. Suwari was a Kokyo and some of the variations. Beginning one, we're going to put the hands forward very high, the elbow down. So he has to hold sort of at the midpoint, what would normally be about the midpoint of the technique, the point we're looking for. And I'm going to roll my thumbs towards me, feeling it in the hara. Hey! His elbows elevate. And hey! There's none of this piston like arms. And the basis is in this, this section of the body. This is one of the big errors flapping like a bird. Because as soon as you tip your elbows out, the power of the central section of your body goes between your arms. When you bring your thumbs in, elbows down, connect to the ground. Hey! Your body's working as a whole single powerful unit. And you're harnessing you know, lots of big muscles and you're not just having a little probe with your triceps. Rotation. This is big dummy. Hey. Here, not here. Here. If he tries to sit up, the structure holds him down. Like this, he tries to sit up and up. Uh, you know? We ought to be in a tank full of mud. Hey. Okay, let's try that. Usually, Whatever the kokyoho is, it goes wrong because of getting to the middle. So we start holding medium strength from the side. Hey! And then... So what we did instead, to really focus, it's usually gone a bit wrong by that point. So by coming to here, holding quite high, so Batu has to hold with his elbows up. That's how high I want to be. Right. So, then just doing this. But if we start off holding a bit too low, now you will actually need to do this part. But we're leaving that part out by starting off high. So we can feel the bracing part. Of the cocky hoe exercise. So please start high. Better too high than too low. And yes, the uki is awkward because this is you know, we're putting him in the position that we try to get him in. As I say, when we're doing these normal bits, usually as you do this bit, this happens. So we're leaving that out to start with. But you must hold high. Yes. Now we go to the Basic, so the basic position, about one fist between the knees. Hi. The grip is medium strength. It's not full power, that's a special one. Medium strength. <coughs> Separate. Rotate. Keep in mind what you were doing just now. So as you rotate, you're not going to do that. It's very tricky. But you pull your thumbs towards you. Your elbows stay down. Here, <coughs> not 
Pull the thumbs towards you. Don't flex your arm. Hey. Hey. I'm going to 